What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the Rayboat software, the newer version by Tenorshare, in order to do iOS system repair, enter and exit recovery mode and also reset your device. It's got a new user interface and it's available right now. And also Tenorshare is providing in this video 5 licenses for 5 people in the comment section down below. Go grab them right now. So the Rayboot program allows you to repair your iOS system, it can fix a ton of issues that you may have with your device, it supports the latest iOS versions as well, like iOS 14.4, 14.3, 14.2, iOS 13 and so on, even down to iOS 12, iOS 11 and stuff like that, so quite a lot of versions are supported. Now the program is available for both macOS and Windows and it does support older Windows versions like Windows 7 and Vista and so on, so you can definitely check it out below. Now once you get it, it looks like this, as I said it's got a new user interface, I'm currently running the uh, Tenorshare Reboot 8.0.2. So once you connect your device you can either enter and exit recovery mode which is available here, you enter by pressing here and you exit by pressing here depending on what mode you're on, but you can also do system repair and you can reset your device. The factory reset would basically reset everything to the factory settings and this will also delete all your data and the general reset would basically help return the iPhone settings to their defaults resolving network issues and notifications and stuff like that, but this may preserve the data. However if the problem is that your device is stuck on the Apple logo or it's no longer powering on and things like this, you may want to go with the iOS system repair which also has two different modules, the first one being standard repair and the second one being deep repair, but this one will cause data loss. Now the standard repair attempts to update the iOS version without causing any data loss, so it's basically going to try to update and preserve your data in the process, but the deep repair which has a bigger success rate if the standard one fails, this one would actually delete your data, but it has a bigger success rate. So I'm going to go with the standard repair in here, the device is connected, you can see that it automatically gets fetched, so it was automatically identified, it says in here iPod Touch 6, which is this device here, the latest version this one supports is 12.5.1, but you can connect any device you want, iPad, iPod, iPhone, it supports iPhone 12, iPhone 11, no problem. And at this point you have two options in here, either you press download and the download will begin automatically and it will take a while for the IPSW to be downloaded, it's 2.82 gigs here, or you can actually import one that you have. So if you already have an IPSW file from before, and I usually keep one for the latest version, you can definitely select it here with import local firmware and you go here to desktop and select this one here, so open and there you go. It says in here that the firmware package is ready to install. You press standard repair and the process will start. So at this point it will verify and analyze the package before attempting it to restore to the device and this is actually an important step because had the tool not checked the firmware it could create problems. So Rayboot would actually check the firmware first before trying to update, before trying to write it to your device to prevent any bricks and to prevent any boot loops and things like this. So if the IPSW is okay and everything is okay, your device will enter in recovery mode which may take a couple of seconds and it will start the repairing process which can take about let's say 10 minutes. Now this may take more than 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes, it depends on your device, depends on your connection, what kind of computer you're running and stuff like this. So depending on these factors it may take a while so you should definitely go ahead, grab a cup of coffee and wait for it to complete, but once it completes everything should be fine. So it says in here now detecting the repaired device, so my phone is showing the Apple logo and a progress bar on its screen and that's basically it. So let's wait for it to complete and I'm gonna be right back. Alright, so after the restore is complete, your device may show another progress bar after a reboot and it may take a couple more minutes for it to complete and after that your device will just boot up. And as you can see in here it says standard repair completed. Now if you chose the deep repair, your device may go to the setup screen or the hello screen in which you have to choose your Wi-Fi connection, your language, your region and stuff like this. But if you chose the standard repair and everything went okay, you should definitely see the home screen directly. So that's it about the iOS system repair. Now if you want to put your device in recovery mode you have to press in here and you press enter. So that's basically it, it's as simple as that. Your device will reboot, enter in recovery mode which is basically this screen right now on your screen and that's basically it. And if you want to exit recovery mode now you press in here. 
And just like that your device is exiting recovery mode, it will reboot again into normal mode and it should go back to either the home screen or the lock screen depending on whether you have a passcode or not. So at that point you should see something like this. So yeah, definitely check it out, the new Rayboot, a brand new user interface, it has a lot of great features in here and they also provide 5 licenses in the description down below for 5 of you. So thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.